and guests who will be giving us their perspective on the, well, deficit of integrity in the nation. But let me just first give you a preamble about what happened just days ago. The National Citizens Integrity Awards 2023 were organized under the theme of promoting integrity for a corruption-free and sustainable society. The National Citizens Integrity Awards is an annual event that aims at recognizing public servants who serve with honesty and integrity and that tradition began in 2018. The awards were held, but what is the significance? We are dipping, digging deeper. Xavier Ejohi is country director at uh, Action Aid International Uganda. We are also joined by Professor Waswa Balunywa, principal Makere University Business School, who is the recipient of the management category of the National Citizens Integrity Awards. Gentlemen, welcome to the program. Thank you. Uh, first and foremost, congratulations, Professor, Thank on uh, taking much. the Management Category Award at the National Citizens Integrity Awards. First and foremost, let me speak to Xavier Ejohi, the Country Director, Action Aid International, to give us the impetus and the perspective that is the foundation for these awards. So the foundation of these awards is uh, an effort in the fight against corruption. Mm. It complements a major uh, initiative that Axon Aid and its partners mm. undertake to fight against corruption. That's right. We recognize that uh, in the past <coughs> uh, we've been um, working with in, in efforts to address poverty, which is the real focus of Axon Aid's work. Mm. And then found out that corruption undermines all efforts by all actors <coughs> in the fight against corruption. And so we then prioritized the fight against corruption through two ways. Number one is to name and shame public officials who are indulged in corruption. Corruption, I mean, they take public resources, they take their access to public office and use it for private gain. Mm. So we say let's name and shame those public officials who stand in the way of quality public health delivery on uh, roads that are usable, on education services that are impactful. So we've been doing that uh, since 2016. But we also realize that in addition to naming and shaming, we note that there are public servants in this country who really serve with distinction and integrity, mm. that we should not just um, give uh, credence to corruption only. Uh, yes, let's name and shame. But let's also profile those men and women who are serving this country with integrity. And so we started that process um, initially in the districts that Axon Aid is working in. Mm -hmm. Currently, there are about 47 of them. Mm -hmm. But gradually, with partnership with other regional organizations and media houses, we actually step that to the national level. Mm -hmm. And so we call on this. The, the, the way the process works is that across 15 sub regions, and nationally, we call for nominations of men and women in, of integrity. And we work with the partners to do an initial screening at the regional level. And then we uh, nominate out of the masses uh, nominated a list that comes to the national level. Mm -hmm. And just to put that in perspective, this year there were uh, initially uh, uh, 674 nominees across the country. Wow. And then we filtered that down to 48 at the national level, those who made it to the top. Mm. And then out of the uh, 48, 15 were awarded in three different categories. Um, management obligation that Professor Waiso Balunya is a beneficiary of. But I also want to add that mm. he's not only just the winner of the management category, but he was also the overall winner. Uh, of the awards. Wow. And then we have the service obligation, frontline service obligation, which are people who are working directly in communities in public uh, uh, service access points, such as teachers, nurses, doctors, and so on. And then we had the political obligation, people who are in political office but have distinguished themselves with acts of integrity. Mm. So across those three categories, we were able to award uh, 15 nominees uh, okay. by the we citizens. Shall, I'll be asking uh, who the other <coughs> awardees are, but again, let me come to Professor uh, Waswa Balunwa and 
again say congratulations. Thank you very My much. colleague, uh, Elvis Senono, in the world of sports, yeah. would call you the uh, player of the tournament, most valuable. <laughs> 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 of course, yeah. your work and uh, your service in education is commendable. Uh, just uh, three weeks ago, I was having a discussion with my colleague Priscilla yeah. about the fact that you had been reappointed. Uh, not not, not yet. I, not I, yet. I must make that there correction. is uh, okay. I was principal up to May. End up of to May. May. End of yeah, May. So today I'm unemployed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but of course you've been nominated, perhaps. Uh, yes, yeah. I've been recommended. Okay, been recommended, yes. no doubt. These looking at the last forty years, yeah. at least that. Uh, of those 40, I've been following events uh, very well for 25, you've been at the helm of uh, business education. And uh, it's no surprise that you win a management award category that has been organized by Action Aid International. First and foremost, tell us the significance of this particular award, but most importantly, what it does to redirecting your efforts. I, I think, um, first of all, I must uh, thank uh, Action Aid and the entire system uh, that uh, was doing this. I was not aware until somebody mm. said, we are nominating you. Can you agree? And I said, yeah, why not? Wow. And uh, I must also thank you as NTV for putting this across. Yes, uh, it's a very good feeling that people out there in society recognize your performance. And um, it's not easy in, in today, uh, literally most of us in public office mm. are being accused of this, that, that, and the other. Of course, we have a challenge, as you said, we have an integrity deficit in the country. Uh, so you would expect, you know, if somebody wants to take you out, the first thing you'll say is, you are corrupt. <laughs> 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 uh, but uh, the, 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 it's, it's a good feeling, and I think uh, we need to do this a little more. Uh, I, my feeling is that uh, this should go back into schools and mm. families. Mm. Uh, the, the challenge we have had in the country goes back to the moral degeneration that we've seen, uh, primarily because um, I want to attribute it to the time when the systems were not working properly. Mm -hmm. uh, the economy went down and people started finding air to live off. Mm -hmm. And since then, we've never really actually been able to regain that moral credence in society. So uh, today you'll find in schools uh, children who stand for election to give sweets. Yeah, um, it's a tradition that yeah, uh, yes. we have accepted as the, Yes, you know, the, the debate, there's a debate today about uh, uh, DNA. Mm. Uh, you are pointing <laughs> to, to <laughs> the conduct of society. <laughs> uh, there, are, there are lots of things that happen in society, but I, mm. I think <coughs> we need to go back to our family values, to our, mm. to our culture. And that's where the, the world needs to begin. Mm. And the, our political leadership needs to take us there so that we can regain our cultural values, we can regain our, uh, our decency, uh, and be able to serve society. Corruption is a leakage. You know, you have money. So whenever mm. people take away the money, it's a leakage in, yeah, in the system. Sure. So that means that there is a service that is not being rendered. Mm. And uh, this, this is an effort we need to be able to put uh, all our, our, our heads together mm -hmm. to see how best this can be done. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, looking at the overall nature of the awards, mm -hmm. of course you are the overall winner. I would like to zero in on the individual management category award. Mm -hmm. When you speak about corruption, many people be tend to assume it is those that have been seen to be on the receiving end or the taking heart, so mm -hmm. to speak, mm -hmm. of corruption. But facilitating corruption comes from those who allow these ones to take mm -hmm. and it's a management issue also mm -hmm. where you see uh, top officials in government we also see in the private sector CEOs we see managers what is the management posture the nation finds itself right now that either needs to be quickly reworked in order to ensure that uh, vices like corruption vices like negligence that of course so, uh, ends into corruption are addressed mm -hmm. in order to put Uganda onto the trajectory of transformation that is needed. Yeah, Uganda has wonderful laws mm. that uh, really should be able to curb corruption. Uh, but uh, the, the, the challenges we have, because integrity is about trust, it's about mm -hmm. keeping your word. Yeah. Uh, that yes, you have you have all this opportunity and and you you refrain from doing something which you feel 
is not your nature. Mm. It's not within. Even when you can, yeah, you're yes, like, no, no, yes. no, no. So, that is not so, so th this, this is a, an issue, a moral issue in our society. And uh, from the management point of view, uh, in, in business, you have stakeholders. Mm. Stakeholders would like to see good results out of what you're doing. Uh, shareholders would like to see money at the end of the day. Yeah. Uh, suppliers would like to, s to have good supply. A customer would like to have a good product. Mm. Now, w when you look at what is happening in terms of lack of integrity, is that the customer is not getting a good deal. Mm -hmm. The supplier is not getting, maybe the supplier actually, this is where the problem is. The supplier gets so much money for doing nothing. Mm. Uh, uh, so uh, from the management perspective, the, there are various regulations in place in organizations through what you call audit, internal audit, but it is the individual mm. who does something knowingly mm. that the, the he or she is going to benefit personally. Mm. And these are the moral values I'm talking about. That okay. We need to restore these values to be able to curb these practices. Okay, Mr. Ejohi, the cluster of awards, you said were 15? At yeah. the end of it all, three clusters, three clusters, total 15, awards, 15 yeah. total <coughs> awards. I just point out the. I don't want to say there are some awards that are not important. Yeah. Uh, but when you hear a professor talking about the fact that there is uh, moral decadence and perhaps addressing some of these issues will have to go down to the family uh, level and even the schools, uh, in order to. I don't know whether the plan is there, uh, but when you are coming up with your awards. Uh, just take us through how you, you know, decided that uh, management, yeah, uh, either religion. I just want to have an idea of yeah the breadth of it all. So corruption is multidimensional. Mm. It's uh, a moral issue, and uh, um, why corruption is perpetuated most times, uh, our our moral fiber has been eroded over time. Mm. You find citizens beginning to glorify the corrupt and their ill-gotten wealth. Mm. They're given prominent seats in churches, mosques, and uh, other gatherings, including when there's a wedding, they mm. you know, announce the biggest uh, <laughs> uh, contribution to the wedding. They are at funerals prominently. Mm. They are driving the latest admirable cars. They're living in opulence and luxury through ill-gotten wealth and that <coughs> attitude of citizens number one giving prominence to the corrupt and glorifying it is very difficult to promote integrity mm. because uh, we place the corrupt in a, a respectable position and we think that that narrative needs to be changed from a moral angle mm. we need to start to recognize men and women especially in public office who are serving diligently with distinction and integrity. Mm -hmm. So you're turning that uh, moral uh, attribute that promotes corruption on its head. Secondly, corruption is also, is also uh, a, cor uh, it's a criminal issue. It's mm -hmm. an aspect of the law. Yeah. And there are procedures in place, there are uh, laws in place, and therefore if somebody indulges in corruption, they can be prosecuted, but not all uh, corruption as I said, is, is uh, legal and worthy of prosecution. You can set up the, the laws, but if the society is condoning corruption, that becomes a challenge. Mm -hmm. and, and lastly, it is a political issue because uh, uh, you set the tone at the top. Mm -hmm. What are those whom we put in place of leadership, especially elective leadership, or uh, as for others appointed, what are they doing to set the tone to ensure okay. that we're able to promote integrity in this country. All right. In a minute, uh, Professor Waso Balunwa, I want you to speak <coughs> to the young person who is uh, entering civil service as a graduate, who is entering the private sector as a trailblazing executive on integrity. Yeah, uh, for the young executives entering the private sector, uh, you need to go out there and succeed. And uh, that success is about hard work, it's about you being reliable, being trustworthy, and uh, you know the, the system is going to reward you if you are trustworthy. You you know you, you keep your word, and uh, the, of course there's a lot of money in the private sector, but it's for, for those people who are willing to, to go for it with trust. Okay. Whenever you talk to many people in uh, business people in this country, mm. they'll tell you 
trust is extremely important. Mm. Some people have told me, I used Dodge taxes, <laughs> but uh, I realized that it was more expensive to Dodge <laughs> to taxes, do taxes and they are now religiously paying mm. their taxes. In public service, of course, public service, are public service, especially salaries uh, are on the lower side. And this is very tempting when somebody in the public service sees somebody else elsewhere earning much, possibly twice, three times what they earn. So this is very important that uh, in, in our public service, we streamline the issue of salaries. Okay. So that uh, a PS, okay, maybe a senior person in government, mm, now okay. PS is earn a little bit, little bit more. Mm. Uh, a senior person in government should earn a relatively good amount of money to, to discourage them from getting into corruption. All right. Yeah. Okay, that opens uh, a whole new debate that uh, will not continue, but we shall resolve for another day. That has been uh, Professor uh, Waswa Balunwa, former principal, Macquarie University Business School, apparently now recommended for the job again. We've also been talking to Xavier Ejohi, Country Director, Action Aid International, on the National Citizens Integrity Awards. Let's now go to Steve.